Hi, this is Ms. Hall, and we're going to review modulus and random numbers. Consider the following code and then determine which of the two given statements are true, if any. One, the number 7 could possibly be displayed. Two, the number 8 could possibly be displayed. Okay, first line of this code. X is set to a random number between 3 and 8. So X could be 3, could be 4, could be 5, could be 6, could be 7, could be 8. And then we have an if statement. We have if x mod 5 is 0, then do what's in red, else do what's in purple. So let's go through these one by one. Is 3 mod 5 0? Is 3 divided by 5 have a remainder of 0? No. So we're going to do what's in purple. And purple says take x and set that to x minus 3. So 3 minus 3 is 0, and what would display is 0. Now let's try for 4. So is 4 mod 5 equal to 0? 4 divided by 5, does it have a remainder of 0? No, it has a remainder of 4. So we'll do what's in purple, and purple says, so then take x and set that to x minus 3. So if x was 4, 4 minus 3 is 1, and that was what would display. Now, what if the random number was 5? What if x was set to 5? So if 5 mod 5 is 0, 5 divided by 5 has a remainder of 0. Therefore, we're going to go in this if statement and do line 4. x is set to x plus 2. So x would be set to 7. Okay, and we would display 7. We skip the else. Now 6. If 6 mod 5 is equal to 0, nope, 6 divided by 5 has a remainder of 1. So x is going to be x minus 3, which will be 3. Then 7. 7 divided by 5 has a remainder of 2. So we're going to do the purple else, which is x is set to x minus 3. And then we have 8 is 8 divided by 5 have a remainder of 0? No, it has a remainder of 3. So we're going to say x is set to x minus 3, which is 5. So the number 7, let's check, could possibly be displayed. Yes, it's displayed when x is 5. The number 8 could possibly be displayed. No. In none of our choices did we get x to be, the dis or x to be 8. So only one is true. So one is true and two is false.